to me, I changed my, my entire life. My, the people that I surround myself with, um, the band guys have never been a problem for me. None of those guys were drug users ever. I mean, the, the, the band being back together definitely helped, you know, and us moving forward is definitely like the first step to pulling yourself out of those places, I feel like, which sounds silly, like, oh, I'm so sad, my band's not a thing anymore. But yeah, it was a huge, you know, when you've been doing the same thing since you were a kid, you know, in your teens, and then it stops out of nowhere, not by your choice, it, it's a huge, like, whirlwind of emotion and all that. So um, I actually moved here, uh, and that was kind of the beginning of my journey, which was pulling myself out of Florida and all the people I knew and going somewhere where I could kind of disappear, which was New York. And that helped to a certain degree, but also made it worse at a certain extent, but it helped me learn a lot about myself. It's the busiest place in the world, but the most lonely. Like you're, you're always alone. Like no one wants to talk to you. No one cares to meet you. Like you have to really go out to try to meet people if you don't have a big group of friends in New York. So you kind of like her always reflecting on yourself. So I spent a lot of time alone and learning how to love myself again. And then the, I think the final step for me was moving back to Florida and like kind of deleting my phone and like everyone that I could ever associate with like partying or anything like that, like good friends that probably hate me right now. But I'm, I literally kind of took all that out and I've had, a, I have a really supportive girlfriend who's also went through that journey years ago uh, and was a personal trainer and she got me in with a dude personal trainer that kind of like shaped my life and like introduced me to different people that were positive and living healthy and eating healthy and I'd been eating healthy for like you know four years and kind of slowly working my way towards that and like you said yeah it was like like going to the gym all the time and feeling good waking up feeling healthy and waking up not feeling like you want to die you know you end up kind of becoming addicted to that I don't think there's ever really a cure for addiction. I just think we replace it, hopefully, with more positive, uh, healthy things, you know, which for me is like a good night's sleep. I'm addicted to that now. Like, so if like you robbed me of that, I would be really freaked out, you know, like if I can't get a proper sleep or I, I don't eat right or I don't get to go to the gym and sweat and like, it's like being on stage, you know what I mean? Like when I was on tour, it was way easier to control myself because I got that release all the time. And I guess I was trying to find that release when I was home because I never really grew up. You know, like you go on tour, you're, it's like on, 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 and then you're just off. No one prepares you for that. In school, they don't. They, they, they say, don't follow your dreams. It's never going to work out for you. Learn a backup plan. Like, learn all this stuff. Have a job. And, like, when you don't, it, it fucks with you. And, and there's no rule book to it. So I think people find different ways to fill those voids. And for some of us, a lot of artists, especially, it's drugs or alcohol and, and self-destructive things to fill that time. And uh, I just had to kind of reprogram my whole life and find things that were you know, productive, you know, and which has led to like doing all sorts of things. Like I like to, you know, be up early and, and, and exercise or do outdoor things and stay motivated. And that doesn't mean I'm perfect and I, I haven't fucked up here and there, which I, you know, which I have. It's, a, it's a, always a constant battle but a million times healthier and happier than I was even two or three years ago, so.